Hey everyone, before we get into the fossil hunt today, have a quick look at this skull that evolved from the Paleo Dutch channel found and prepped. It's really, really cool. Well, thank you, Mom Lambo. In my recent video, I prepped and talked about this. This is a fossilized Oregon skull, and this animal would have lived around 35 million years ago, together with the ancestors of the modern horse, like Mesohippus. This animal would have been a lot smaller than the modern horse right now and would have had three toes instead of one hoof. So if you guys want to see me prep and talk about this fossilized Oregon skull, please go watch my video on my YouTube channel, Paleoids. Hopefully you guys will enjoy the video and have a nice day. It's a really windy day here today, but I've got a new mic, which hopefully should reduce the noise. I'm out here just having a look at these areas where the silt's washed away a little bit. And saw something over here sticking out the sand. Gave it a quick wipe over there. And it really looks like a, a nice piece of either an agate or a storm agate or something like that. It's definitely got some jasper bits and some clear bits. And if you can see that, there's some agatized bits in there on the back. Let's put it in the sun and see. Yeah, it's not a bad looking stone. I'll keep that. See if we find any fossils. I think I see a fossil crab. <laughs> uh, the first fossil crab of the year, I think, actually. It's just sticking out there. I'm not sure if it is. I haven't looked properly. It sure looks like one. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful one. Look at that. It's only the carapace, but it's a beautiful carapace. It's got a little, little bit of sediment up top here, which I might remove or I might just leave it like that. That's a really nice crab. I like it when I don't have to <laughs> uh, prep them. Uh, it's a Trichopeltron Greggy, I think, that one. Here's one of those older sponges. This is from a green sand layer further inland, I think. I think it's a sponge or a coral. I'm not too sure. I've got a few bits like this that I found over the years. I think the layer it's coming from is about 60 million years old. So much older than the stuff that's normally on the beach here. But it all washes down the rivers and ends up down here. It's one of the reasons why it's so difficult to actually give a definitive date for anything you find on the beach that's not in the cliff still. These are one of my favorite fossils to find, these little scampies. I think they're scampi. I don't think they're crayfish or lobster because I get confused between which one's freshwater <laughs> and which one's marine, but I think these are technically a scampi. And I quite often find them just in this one area. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful on the other side as well. Look at that, so much detail. This is one of my best ones. It's only got the thinnest layer of sediment covering this side. That's the head over there. It's missing a bit of the tail. Oh, maybe some of the tails over there on that side. That's a beautiful one.
or he has that little scampi after a bit of prepping. You can see the head's not really well preserved at the top here, um, right over there. There's not much detail there. It's kind of turned into iron pyrite, and the same with the tail over there. But I suspected that was going to happen. I just wanted to uh, practice on it a little bit. It's one little hollow section there in that leg. And you can see there's another hollow section there. So I would normally fill that up with some CA glue. I'm just going to leave it as this for now. I'm not going to prep this further. Because what I want to do is rather spend time on this beast. <laughs> I think there's a, another little scampi in here, well not little, I think it's a bigger one. It's got the right shape and I think that's a part of it sticking out there. So if you imagine, you see the size difference. So hopefully this one's a lot more complete. I'm not going to prep it right now, I'm going to finish that Pelagornis. Thanks so much for joining me everyone, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, little prep, my first little scampi slash crayfish slash lobster that I've ever prepped and I learned quite a bit using that aerobrazer on here. I'm going to need to try out some different medias uh, to see which one gives the best result and please go check out Paleo Dutch's channel he's got some really cool videos on there and I'm really excited to see what he's going to find and prep in the future. Stay safe and I'll see you on the next hunt. Bye!